Okay, fellow collectors, it's time to stock up those display shelves. I'm going over three great magazine farming runs. I have every edition of every magazine available in the game right now, and while I have bought a few of these from players around the maps, most of these were found in the world. I have covered a couple different farming routes in my collector badge guide along with other stuff, but I wanted to make this video that focused on just the magazines. I have three runs total, with a total of 33 magazine spawns between them all. Let's begin with my favorite one. The Summersville Lake Run. Link to the route map is in the description below. I do have a few mutations that make this easier for me, so keep that in mind if you're following along. But there are alternative paths to each magazine here. We're going to start at the Summersville Docks with three potential spawns. The first spawn is in the central building that has the Tinkerer's Workbench. It's on the bottom of the shelf here. And this is one of the ones that I needed to replace, so I picked it up. Out the back door and down the pier towards this docking station, you'll find a second spawn on this shelf. No luck this run though. And then you just want to hop down here onto the ground level. The third one is located underneath this broken boat. After that, we're going to turn around, run across the dried lake bed towards Burdette Manor. Now, I do have Panna Pictographic equipped when I do my magazine runs so that I can hear if a magazine is nearby or if I should just keep going. And remember to only pick up the ones that you want so you can re-roll your chances on a new server as it takes a while for them to respawn. All right, we are at Burdette Manor. The first magazine is in the downstairs level in the kitchen underneath these crates. And the second magazine in this area is up the spiral staircase through the employees only door in the attic. Take care of these ghouls real quick. The magazine is on this shelf back here. Next, we're gonna hop outside and scale down the broken building, follow along the road towards Torrent's house where we have our next magazine duo. We're gonna climb up the scaffolding here towards the rooftop. The first magazine is gonna be right on top of the roof here. Then on a landing on the southwest side of the building, there is a shining Easter egg with a magazine spawn right underneath this yellow bin. All right, head down and north to the next building, Hornwright Summer Villa. There is a spawn in the basement right underneath these barrels here. And right back upstairs and headed north to the side building here, there's going to be a magazine spawn right next to the fridge. There are two more at our next destination over at Overlook Cabin. You can go in the main entrance and go upstairs. I just like to hop over this ledge to the top level. Along this wall, you'll find our first magazine spawn wedged behind the second radiator. Ooh, again, nice. And then head all the way downstairs into the basement. There is a magazine spawn on this table here. That's it for this run. The second route is the Pleasant Magazine Run. I like to start at South Cutthroat Camp. There are two spawns here. The first one is right next to the ski lift here on top of this brick. And the second one is a little bit east on the dining area on top of the tabletop. Then I like to scale up these rocks a bit, but you can also just go around too, and I like to get the few that are at the lodge here. With the first one, I like to hop up on the speaker, up onto the landing, and check this patio table. You can also get here from inside the building as well. The next one is down on the balcony at that building right over there. Careful jumping down if you don't have marsupial. It'll be right on top of these barrels with the vodka next to it. Dumping down to ground level and heading south up these hedges, you're going to find a ladder which will bring you around the wraparound balcony. The third one is going to be on this end table. Okay, back to ground level. We're going to go around the back of the lodge and head north towards the cabins. You'll find these stairs headed up towards the ruined building. There is a magazine spawn on this end table here. And then northeast, we want to go all the way down the market alley until you hit the end. We're going to take a left up towards this room. 
where a magazine can spawn on the bed in the back room. Back out and towards the area with the three smaller cabins. In the first cabin that has this truck outside, there can be a magazine spawn on the barrel underneath this dead guy. And then back outside towards the easternmost cabin in this trio, there's going to be a magazine spawn on the coffee table. We have two more to go into this area. We're going to go up and around for the last ones. They'll be inside of this large building up on the hill. The first one is going to be upstairs at the headboard of the queen size bed. And all the way down at the end of the building on this podium will be our last magazine spawn for this run. That gave us 12 possible magazine spawns on this route. Not bad. And now the last run, which I didn't show in my collector video because I find it's often cleared out, but I've had a bit of luck with it recently, so I feel it's worth a go if you're here. I personally like to start from the Watoga Transit Hub. Inside of the elevator shaft on the bottom the is a magazine spawn. Then outside towards the south on the left room bus, there is a magazine spawn on the bus seat. Back inside and in towards the elevator, up towards the monorail bridge. We're going into the monorail and heading left, there is a spawn for a magazine at the very end of the train. Then back out and following the path, we're going to continue down these stairs. There will be a magazine spawn on this lower level on the terrace on top of this table. Now, there are a few magazines inside of the buildings nearby, but for my route, I only go into the emergency services building since it's close to the entrance and along our route. Once you get to the bottom of the stairs, head north towards the emergency services building. And go up the elevator. The magazine spawn is in the waiting area of the lobby. It can spawn inside of the magazine rack here. Back down the elevator, we're going to head towards the center of the city and head towards Super Duper Mart. I like to skirt around the edges to avoid enemies. And pass by Super Duper Mart towards this corner cafe where there is a potential of two spawns. First one is going to be on this table right here. There was an explosion here earlier which knocked it off the table, but that's the spawn point. And the other one is on this magazine rack. Okay, we got three more towards the high school. Down the lower road beneath the parking lot on this bus here, there is a magazine spawn on the bench. And make your way back towards the school. I'm just listening if I can hear a magazine on the train above me. It doesn't sound like it, but we'll still show you where it is anyways. Go ahead behind the back of the school and towards the stairs, which is going to lead us up to the rooftop. All the way down at the end of the roof in the lower area next to this gnome and toilet, there is another magazine spawn. You can hop down this part of the building without too much damage if you want. We'll be heading up those stairs and to the end of the monorail where the last magazine spawn for this route is. And there you have it! The Watoga route that I showed you had 10 magazine spawns. There are a few more magazines in the buildings around the area, but I usually just leave them alone for the most part. And over all three routes, that's 33 potential magazine spawns. Definitely worth checking out the next time you're in any of these areas. I really hope you're able to collect all the magazines that you need for your collection too. There are a few other places around the map with two, three, or four magazine spawn points that you can server hop to, but I really like these routes because there is usually some other goodies along the way as well. So what else have you been collecting? Me personally, I pick up far too many outfits than I need, but it's okay, I'll sell the extras at some point. Let me know what you're collecting in the comments. I hope these routes with updated maps will be helpful, and be sure to like and subscribe if it is. 
I'm Wickety. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!